Hey, what's up? Peace. <sighs> so check it out. Messed up my knee. <laughs> Messed up my knee. Oh, man. Um, Thursday, I was skateboarding. Uh, I just landed wrong. I, I was just so tired. I just landed wrong. Knees messed up. Went to the went to the ER. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good. I'm not gonna worry about that now. The body is awesome. It will heal. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. Um, that's not the point though. Check it out. Here's here here's why I'm making this video. Right? I'm gonna make this video is a, is going to be about calculus and what I did to pass the class, okay? And um, the, the calculus that I took is called Calculus for Life Science. Calculus for the Life Sciences. That's what, that's what the class is called. And in my school, they made the, the chemistry majors, the biology majors, and the neuro, neuroscience majors take that calculus class. And I'm a neuroscience major, so I had to take that class. And it's different from the regular calculus in a way, I think the regular calculus class at our school is harder, but, you know, maybe the problems in the book are harder. But at the end of the day, you're learning the same concepts. So I feel like as long as you understand the concepts in calculus, you're good. It's, it's very conceptual, and especially in any math. You know what I mean? So if you're preparing to take calculus this some um, what am I saying? This next year, next semester, let's say you're planning to take it down the road. This video is for you, right? And, um, you know, I worked my butt off. I got an A in the class. And I just want to motivate anyone, who, especially anyone who does not like math. I did not like math prior to entering the class. And for some reason, I ended up liking math entering into the class. Like, I think, I think my teacher was, all, my professor was awesome. Like, she was awesome. But anyway, you might not have an awesome teacher. But nonetheless... Let me tell you the like a couple of things. I think these are four things that I've written down that has helped me. So check it out. Number one. Here we go. Number one. Let's see. Practice problems. Okay. Um, this might not be new to some of you guys. Some of you guys, you might hear, oh, how do I pass a math class? You got to practice problems over and over again. Right? Simple. The reason why is because you get you get more used to the problems. It may take you. You may look at a concept one day. You may take look at you know the the quotient rule one day, and you're like, oh man, I don't understand this. And it may take you three days to understand it. And then what do you do? You 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 go in the chapter. The chapter has like 60, 70 questions. Do all of them, all of them until you master it. Because what's going to happen is you might see that same problem on the test or you may see a problem very similar. And because you have practiced all of the problems repeatedly to the point where you fully understand it, you will go to that test and you will ace it. Check it out. This, right, composition notebook. This is where I did all my homework. All right. Um, check it out. All my homework is in here. Like I have all my homework just shoved in here and I um, I try to do every every problem and you know write it down and check it out um, scratch paper <laughs> scratch paper you want scratch paper do every single problem if, if you feel that's what you need to do you know but this is what I did I did every single problem and I have scratch paper and I, I you know I just scratched away so that's one do every single problem all right, two, this is the second thing I did. In our school, we have, like, it's, it's tutoring, basically. But in our school, it's called supplemental instruction, SI for short. And what would happen is we go, we go in calculus, you know, um, the class, it's, it's like about an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes. Directly after class, there is an assigned SI leader, a tutor, whatever. And that instructor will instruct us. We, we can go over problems. It's basically like, like tutoring. So go to your tutor sessions. You have, sometimes you may have one-on-one -on -one time. You may have a specific problem that you do not know how to do. And if you go to the, S, if you go to the tutoring, that tutor will definitely will help you one-on-one. -on -one. And 
you know, it's not like you're sitting down and you're like, oh man, I can't do this problem. Oh man, I can't take the integral of this problem. You go to the SI leader, you go to your tutor and they will help you. So that's two, go to your tutoring sessions, go to your SI sessions, it doesn't matter what it is, go to some form of tutoring, all right? So that's two. Three, right? This is another big thing, um, which, which are YouTube videos. That's what I call them, YouTube videos. What do I mean by that? You have Khan Academy, um, Patrick JMT. If you don't understand, if you feel like your, your professor sucks, go to Khan Academy. Khan Academy has some really good videos. If you don't like Khan Academy, hit up Patrick JMT. I feel like Pat, Patrick JMT is strictly math. He goes in depth and he go, and he 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 gives examples and he explains. Those are big things that help me really to understand the 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 the, the, the concepts. You know what I mean? So um, so that's three. And if you don't know what those are, I'll try to put links to anyone who is taking calculus and they need somebody to show them the concepts in an understandable manner. So that's three YouTube, right? Um, First was do practice problems. Second was tutoring. Uh, third was YouTube videos. Uh, four, this is another big thing, right? Classmates. There is going to be some of your friends or some people, some of your classmates that sit by you. They may know how to do an exact problem that you have no idea how to do. Um, there is this girl. She helped me big time. Like we fed off of each other because we would um, go over homework problems and you know we we'd call each other when when there is a problem that we don't know before like hours before the test we'd meet up do practice problems go over this go over um like practice problems um and you and you're and i might know i might know how to do a problem that you've been struggling your butt off and i show you step by step how to do it right so that's another thing you want to you want to you want to make some friends <laughs> Even if it's one, at, at least it's one other person, and that that friend might show you some other things. So those are my four steps of how to how to pass calculus, and and that's basically it. So to anyone who's about to take calculus, just work your butt off. The at the end of pain is success. You've got to struggle through this class to work hard. You'll be up until twelve, maybe one, doing practice problems. But at the end of the day, when you have that A, it does not matter what anyone says. It does not matter how insane the pain is, you've got your A. So I encourage you guys to stay positive and just to keep pushing. Uh may the force be with you. <laughs>